Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, one of our favorite segments, Garage Ed, and today it's all about the map sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor. Now, in a prior episode, we looked at the mass airflow sensor, and that's a precise reading. That's pretty cool. That actually took the air, and it calculated everything going in. It looked at the load, everything, precise reading. Now, on some vehicles, you may have what's called a map sensor. This is speed density. Now, the map sensor is hooked to an intake manifold source, and it knows what's going on at the vacuum in the engine or lack of vacuum and then it takes the intake air temperature sensor right here and it makes an educated guess. So my MAP sensor's up top, my intake air temperature sensor's right there. Now between those two, it does a calculated load. Well, how does it work? Take a look at this graphic right here. You actually have a MAP sensor, which is a mechanical connected to vacuum, and then you have an electrical portion. You can see the five volt reference coming down to it, the computer sending that. You have it grounded, and then that return signal goes back to the computer. That's important, and Brian will show us actually what's going on with that joker. What's going on though is vacuum is applied to that Wheatstone bridge or that silicone, pulling it up, changing that value. You. Now, true Tech Garage fashion, we're going to show it to you in action. So I can go ahead and fire this thing up, and when I fire it up, you want to know and see what the computer's seeing? Well, it's right over there on the board. On the left side, you've got the manifold absolute pressure, and down below, you got the throttle position because it's related. And then I said it was an educated guess. Well, over there on the right, it's calculated value. Well, watch what's happening. Right now, I have massive vacuum because the throttle's closed. I start opening the throttle the vacuum goes away. Now when the vacuum goes away, you can see it on the mass airflow sensor and you can see it relative to the actual throttle position sensor. And then over on the right, there's our calculated load. So now that you know how the computer works, we got our resident DIY expert over there. He's gonna show you how to test it. The manifold absolute pressure sensor has a really big job, but you know what? Even the best of sensors is only as good as the entire vacuum system. You can't have any breaks, any unmetered air getting into that system any which way. And that's important when you're doing small jobs like changing serpentine belts or radiator hoses or any upgrades you do over the life of the vehicle, check those vacuum lines every single time and make sure you've got no cracks, no chafing, no stray vacuum. That's critical for this whole thing to balance. So in this case, we've got the MAP sensor removed right out of the top of the intake manifold right here. That's the hole where the stud goes down in. This is the stud. We've temporarily got our rockauto.com vacuum pump connected to it so we can show you what's gonna happen. Now, not a very fancy check at all. A couple T-pins, go online. You can find this connector where you've got ground and return. We've got those T-pinned black connectors ground. Now with the multimeter set on 12 volts, I connect to the return and we will see a static reading of 0.15. So now, engine starts, there's vacuum. We're measuring in mercury, we pump up our vacuum, there's your voltage change. Now that may fluctuate with engine load, but you can see, not only is the sensor working properly, the wiring harness back to the ECU is also working properly. So in this case, we're good to go. Release the vacuum, shut it down, we're back down to a low reading. So we're in good shape, really important check, easy to do. It's all about the vacuum lines not having any leaks. All right, with that, Tom and John have some more really cool stuff. Here at Tech Garage, we pride ourselves with having the right tool for the job. And I have the Rock Auto mobile website right here on my phone. Why do I do that? Well, look at one click of the button. I have all the different things I can click. Find the tool, not only the tool, parts, times money, order it, bam, here it is right at the door. Easy way to do it, Tom, love it. Yeah, you, you, professional mechanics get the right tools, but do it yourselfers can do it too. It, it, it makes the job more fun, more enjoyable. Um, we have a tools universal parts tab. You just click there, and and it, it's organized like the rest of the catalog: brakes and fuel, air. Um, some of these parts, like the the vacuum pump, you use that to bleed brakes. You use it to advance the diaphragm on your on your distributor. You'll use it over and over again. And, and the, it just makes the job so much faster. Get, get a, a spindle nut socket to take the spindle nut off versus trying to use vice grips and skinning your knuckles and getting frustrated. Saves a lot of time. And what really stuck out to me was the professional quality of the tools. I mean, this is a Noid light set. You know, you would think you'd get a GM. It's the same ones they use, almost like a Kent Moore number. You know, the scan tools, everything's there. You got so much. Yep, yeah, that's a great resource. It absolutely is. Well, check them out on the web. Meanwhile, we're going to wrap up today over there with Brian.